Welcome back. In lesson two, we are going to be looking at lines, uh, slope, linear models, rates of change, all that good stuff that you have probably seen um, fairly in depth in previous algebra courses, although it may have been a while for some of you. Um, but slope is actually a pretty big topic in calculus, so it is worth taking a day just to refresh your memory um, on slope and lines and how that all works. So throughout these notes, we will be looking at um, how to find the slope of a line through two points um, in that equation. We're gonna review how to write an equation of a line given a point and a slope, or maybe two points. Um, we're gonna interpret slope as a ratio or as a rate um, for real life application, uh, AKA word problems. We're going to sketch graphs of lines and then write the equations of lines that are parallel or perpendicular to some given line. So this video is just an introduction. We'll go through this first little chunk of the notes um, and just talk about slope for a minute. So if you think about slope and what you know about it, hopefully things that are coming to your mind um, are phrases like rise over run or the change in Y over the change in X. And you'll see in this box below here, we're considering two random points, any point, here's point one, X, Y, and then point two, some other points somewhere in the grid. And when we're talking about slope, we're talking about the change in the horizontal distance, horizontal being my X's, this little symbol here, that little triangle looking thing, that is that Greek letter delta. And in math, we use that to represent the change. So I would read that as the change in X is equal to the x2 coordinate minus the x1 coordinate. That is going to be your change in your run, and then your change in your rise would be your vertical change, your change in the y um, direction. So the change in y will be y2 minus y1. And then I'm hoping somewhere in your memory you have this formula um, comes to mind and, and even maybe is easy to um, actually calculate. We will get in later on in the notes and actually use this formula, but it is important to remember y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Um, and there's just a little note here that x1 and y x2 cannot equal each other. Now, why would that be? And what does that mean if the two x values equal each other? Um, let's just say they're both two, for example. I don't really care what the y value is. Maybe the y value is five and the y two is seven, right? But I'm looking at um, two points where the x coordinate is the same. That's gonna give you a vertical line. And if x1 and y2 are the same, that means this quantity down here, when you subtract them, will be zero. And you know, you cannot have zero in the denominator, that is undefined. So um, the slope of a vertical line is not defined. Now I have, um, just real quick here, a picture of four different graphs um, and reviewing how we read them. We always read um, from left to right. So as I look at this first graph here, that goes from the point negative two zero up to the point three one, we would say that the slope of that line is positive because it is rising as you read from left to right. I'd have to climb that um, line or, uh, uh, as I go from left to right. And we could actually on a graph, I don't really need the formula, I can see I'm going up one and over, change in y would be one, and over one, two, three, four, five. So that line has a slope of positive one fifth for every, um, one up I go, I have to run five um, in the positive direction. Number two, notice uh, that the rise is zero. It's not going up, it's not going down, and it's totally flat between those two points or on this line. So this is an example where m equals zero. The rise is zero over the run. In this case would be one, two, three. Zero over three is just zero. So horizontal lines have a slope of zero. And notice when the line is horizontal, that means the y coordinate is the same. Y2 and Y1 are identical. In my third graph, I have an example of a negative slope. Um, the line does go down as I read it from left to, to right. And you, if you were to count uh, the change in Y, I count one, two, three, four, five. I'm going down five, I'm falling five, and over to the right one. That is a slope of negative five over one or negative five. 
And then the last one um, is this is my vertical line. My slope is undefined. Um, I cannot climb that. I'm not climbing. I'm not falling. It's, it's just an undefined vertical slope. And again, notice that happens when the x coordinates are the same. So that's a little introduction. Uh, I'll see you back here for the next video if you need it.